Walmart in Laramie. We just spent the night. We made it through the night without getting mugged. gonna do that just you're gonna do you're gonna hug left yeah, hug and you're left. gonna move once you get going because here you're, let me stop on let that. me hop out and i'll video, get video yeah. uh oh hey we got a we got a tire leaking all right maybe we made it to the trailhead but we're missing the tire. We had to yank it off real quick and we had to repair it because we could hear it losing air on the way up. So, uh, Ted and Mike did a good job of hustling up here, ripping it off, and fixing it. So, of course, we had practice already. Yes, we already had to do that once on this trip, except we didn't have to do the patch job. We just replaced a we put the spare on and now the spare is giving us issues. But we made it to our destination. All right, we have arrived at our final destination for the next five days. We got the Hoopty. Who picked this spot? The Hoopty van and the beautiful view of the mountains in the background. We might have, we might be able to shoot an elk from our campsite if we get lucky. Do a quick check. Meat check. Got some fresh elk killer. Yeah, we gotta go a little more. That we didn't kill, but we're gonna eat it. This is our campsite. And that's our view. Well, here's our view on our first morning. And uh, it's quite amazing. I just went to use the facilities and had a mule deer doe and her fawn. Very cool. Well, Mike's going to do some business. No, you're and crackhead. At least a couple hours old because it's cold. But that's a good sign. So that means there is elk. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know if that's elk, but that could be an elk deer. It smells stanky. I don't know. It smells like pine, actually. It's not that bad.
guys made it to the top of this mountain. You can see the lakes in the background. I'm a little bushed. I think I'm at 10,000 feet elevation, maybe a little higher. So yesterday we hunted that whole area by that um, bell tower. We saw a couple mule deer and that's about it. That was pretty easy walking compared to this. So I guess I will get over this ridge and see if it opens up a little bit. Haven't seen any any big animals yet. So another funny thing that happens in high elevation like this, I think we're at 10,000 feet right now, is all your packaged food blows up. It's like super full of air, so the air expands as you go up in altitude. Alright guys, it's early morning. I got my uh, hot water boiling. I'm gonna make some oatmeal and my Dunkin Donuts coffee. And we're about to head out into the wilderness and um, try to see some animals. Alright guys, I've been walking for quite a while. I need to check how many miles. But I have not found an elk yet. Some really pretty views though. Oh man, those are psychos. That looks like chocolate. Well, we made it in time. We got our tent set up. We are going to get stormed on. Looks like in a big way. Fortunately, they blow through pretty fast. But uh, we just got done hiking. I think we did maybe three miles. Did you already grab my needles, Michael? Mike is. Mike is set over here. Right here. You him? He's he's worried about his meals. You better hope he has his meals. There's Michael over there setting up his tent. Steve and I went under the trees. We hope that we hope that we don't get we don't get uh, in trouble.
is what we're going through right now. We've just had pea-sized hail and the lightning is really bad. Check that out. 